Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to go over five different ways you can make money online. And for each of these, I'm going to cover how hard it is to get started and how hard it is to maintain alongside your day job. All of these five streams of income are ones that I've either done myself, I've paid someone to do it, or I've included examples of people that have done it and are making thousands a month from it. I'm not including any which I wouldn't be willing to do myself. So this is the video that I wish I watched when I first started my journey to achieving financial freedom. Let's get into it. Number one is newsletters. This is an old idea, but over the last couple of years, it has massively come back in the scene and I almost feel like it's the new block. There are a few main reasons for a lot of people doing this now. Firstly, there are services making it super easy to start a newsletter, like Substack, for example, where you can start your own newsletter at zero cost. That's the platform that I use for my bi-weekly newsletter and it's completely free. Second reason it's blown up is because people are realizing that social media is rented land. With one change in algorithm, you could lose all visibility with your audience. Everything you own belongs to the social media platform, whether it's TikTok, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Instagram. And so newsletters are a really good way of taking your audience off of these platforms and instead of being the renter, being the landlord. And the third reason is because you can make a lot of money without even having to put your face on anything. One of the most popular newsletters today is called Morning Brew and it brings you the daily news in a really digestible and entertaining manner. Morning Brew has over 4 million subscribers and last year in 2020, the newsletter company generated over $50 million in revenue. The majority of that revenue came from sponsored ads and affiliate links. And the way Morning Brew grew so big was purely through word of mouth endorsement and their referral scheme. In terms of getting started, I would give this a one out of five. It's super easy to get started, type a sentence or two and just send it out. But I think to grow it, it's a bit more difficult if you don't already have an audience because if that is the case, then you'll be relying heavily on word of mouth. So in terms of maintenance, I would give this a three out of five because you would be spending a lot of time to promote it. Number two is selling a digital product. These are products that you create online. You create it once like an ebook, a download, an app or something like that. And then you create it once and then you can sell it multiple times. And there is a guy called Islo. Uh, you can check him out on Twitter. And this guy essentially just shares how to be more productive and get more out of Notion, which if you haven't heard of it, it's an online note-taking platform. He shares tips and tricks and creates his own templates. And in the first nine months of this year alone, he made over $200,000 just through selling templates. And I've seen a lot of other content creators also catch on to this recently with starting their own templates and information workflow setups. And it just goes to show that just because one person has done it, it doesn't stop anyone else from doing it and creating it with their own spin or their own style. And as with anything online, there is no cap in the audience and there is no limit. So how hard is this to get started? I will give this one out of five in terms of difficulty. Unlike physical products where you have to buy the equipment, buy the fabric, buy the material, Material, there is no upfront cost with starting a digital template. What you do need, however, is to sell something that can add some sort of value to other people and that there is demand for. So if you can identify a problem or a gap in the market and use your existing skills or learn new skills to close that gap. In terms of ongoing maintenance, I would give this a one out of five. Once you've got it started up and running, there is very little you need to do to maintain it from there. Number three is video editing. On one side, a lot of content creators advise on outsourcing your editing and that you could do this really cheap. And I don't know if it's just me, but getting a good, reliable editor is expensive and there is a big shortage of high quality ones. For a lot of content creators, the editing part is the first thing that they outsource. And when you approach experienced editors on freelance service websites like Fiverr or like Upwork, they're charging more than $100 to edit a 10 minute video. So if you want to make some solid cash, this is definitely a good way to go. If you're starting out, I'd recommend to price competitively as your selling point to attract new customers. And then once you've got in the reviews, you've got in the recommendations, Recommendations, you can then scale it bigger to thousands of dollars. In terms of how hard this is, I would give it a two. It's pretty easy to learn how to edit. If I can edit, literally anyone can edit. But before I started this YouTube channel, I didn't know a thing about Final Cut Pro or Adobe, but there is an abundance of free information online. And I personally learned how to edit through Skillshare and it taught me everything that I need to know to get started. You can get 30 days free on Skillshare using my link below. And to be honest, you can just sign up, use a free trial, watch the course and cancel it if you don't want to keep it. I probably shouldn't be saying that, but in terms of maintenance, I would give this a four. Although it can be very, very lucrative, it is something that requires trading your time for money and a lot of your time for money. So if you are doing this alongside your nine to five job, then this is something you'd want to consider. Number four is a SaaS business. SaaS stands for software as a service and it's a way of delivering applications 
over the internet as a service. There are so many people making money online through this and you won't even realize it or you won't even know it because most of these people don't have an audience and that's one of the best things about it. An example of this is a website called Nomad List. It lets people find the best places to go to and to work from based on what their preferences are, whether it's like good weather, cost of living, safety, internet speed. And the owner who created this, Peter Levels, he also created a complimentary website called remoteok.com, which is essentially just a job board which posts remote jobs that are available. And these two SaaS businesses alone make him $2.7 million a year and he has zero employees. He even posted online, he said, I have no funding, I have no debt, I have no employees, just revenue and profit margins are somewhere between 80 and 90%. So in terms of getting started, I'll probably give this a four. It's more of an idea that you have to come up with. So it might take a bit of throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. But in terms of maintenance, I'll give this a one. Once it's up and running, the services can be very self-sufficient. And most of the work, the coding, the designing, it's all done up front. Number five, create an online course. This is kind of like a digital product, but it's in a video format. So in terms of getting started, I would give this a two out of five. It's not hard to make an online course, but you do need to have basic skills and like communication, speaking to a camera, and generally having a skill or a knowledge that you can teach others about. And the only reason people will really pay for it is if it's actually good and there's value that they're getting out of it. But the world of online education has exploded. There is so much money being pumped into the space. So if you have a valuable skill that you could teach, this is probably one of the most rewarding ways to make money online. It's a way that you can use your strengths to teach and add value to others. You can also make money without having to charge people directly for your course. Using platform again like Skillshare, this isn't sponsored. I actually use their premium membership. I think it's a really great place to learn stuff. They have thousands of courses on thousands of different topics and anyone can teach things on Skillshare without having an audience. Anyone can upload a class to the site and the way it works is you get paid based on the amount of time that someone watches your video. So if you already have an audience, then that's even better. You have an audience that know you, they like you, they trust you and they'll go to Skillshare specifically to watch your class. But even if you don't have an audience, if your class is really good and you're getting good reviews for it and people are watching it, then Skillshare has its own algorithm. So if you make a really good class that people watch a lot and it has good ratings, good reviews, then it will just rise to the top by itself and it will come up in the Skillshare homepage or it will be the first when people search for it. On their website, they say that the top teachers are earning more than a hundred grand per year on the platform. In terms of maintenance, when you've made the course, that's it, you're done, you just let it run. So in terms of maintenance, I would give this a one out of five. I see a lot of people try something new and they give up before giving it a real chance and that's because it's human nature to expect instant gratification and reward for doing something. I mean, that's the way we've been conditioned through school to expect immediate results. But studies show that this act of expecting immediate success can actually stop you from achieving your goals because you just keep abandoning projects halfway through. You don't actually see the project through. A lot of the streams that I've mentioned are passive income streams and passive income isn't about overnight success. It's about putting in the hard work now to reap the benefits later on. So that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, I've got another video here which you might enjoy on millionaire habits. Hopefully see you there.